it, it's um, okay. Tell me this. Did you? Did you guys hear what was going on? I guess Renee, when you, or who was first, Sandy? I think it was Sandy, and then Ashley. Like we don't, we don't press stream, and we don't press go live on here. We just get this page ready. But actually, I think it gets it ready for live. Um, but I don't know if you guys can hear or see us. Yeah. Let me, um, this is way too big. Needless to say, if you could hear us, then um, you heard some of The Office, which is the show that I watch when I'm doing a lot of anything. Like, doing a lot of anything. Like, on my oh, quote, no. downtime, which is not a true thing. It's a true thing, but I'm not. I don't know. I'll go here and hear you. We can Hi, see you and hear baby. you. That's so weird because our the OBS we didn't and this doesn't even say that it's live. Mm -hmm. Well no, I mean I guess it would be around seven fifty seven. Can't hear before you went live. Hmm. Ah, okay. I don't know. Maybe it was just a blank screen that says it's coming. Well, I know you guys can hear us now. So many fam fam. We love to see you guys. Um. Chloe down. So we're going to give the class a few minutes to join. We are early. Nope. Jerry. Right now. Yeah, let us, um. What we'll do is, uh, hello everybody, hello, hello, hello. It's so funny because it's way more than 15 people. I know, there's 15 people right here. Can you, can we redo this and it'll just... I wouldn't because I really want to know how. I wouldn't. Am I, I here? You that. are here, Ken. We see you. So, um, while we're waiting, we're going to give it to like 10 after for people to get in here and I know it. Come here. And then we'll put you guys on, uh, we'll, we'll just put it on this, on this other camera here in color and just see what you guys are up to today. So, um, thank you for showing up for the class and we'll be right back in two, two seconds. I did not create enough of this stuff. It reminds me of, um, I did not wake up in a new Bugatti. No new Bugattis? No. Kind of pissed I did not wake up in a new Bugatti. Where am I? Manuel in Austin is in ATD's fam room. Do you know if we re refresh this page? I think it'll be fine. I think it just... Go for it. This is You've the time it. to do We've it. We've done it before, right? This is the time to do it. It is being Z. Oh, you guys can't be curious. But if you want to refresh the page, do it. But you, you're not going to be able to refresh it every time someone comes in. I did yard work. Ew. It was raining here today. Yeah. It must have been nice wherever you're at, Teresa. TG. Teresa, when are you going to come see us next? I think we're going to go see her next. Where's that at? East Coast-ish. East Coasty. Because Ooh. we're going to do her countertop. Hey, Clara. Uh, so excited to see so much of the fam in here. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to move this over here so that it's more in our face. In the face. So tonight we're going to go over how to do a swipe pour. It's going to be very one on one, very beginner. So if you want to go over some like basics. If you need a refresher, today's the day. If you didn't buy the kit, not a problem at all. I invite you to stay and watch. 
to join in, to paint along, or some people contacted me and said that they are just going to take notes during this part and then they're going to play it back later because this is going to be posted on the channel so you can rewatch it however many times ever possible. All right, Moose, lay down. He is getting better, by the way. I'm going to do live chat. Yeah. And you may accidentally. Oh no! Now there's no one. Oh god! <gasps> Did it do that? It didn't go. It just it'll just refresh it. Yep. There we go. Bulgaba, love the blue. Thank you. I was feeling extra mermaidy the last time I washed my hair. What is this? I don't know. Is that, that is that the only time with Mount we have to go live? We go live longer than an hour off the time. I know, I wonder why that's there. Thank you, Catherine. I, I don't know, but we're going to get with it in another five minutes. Lisa, that's a good, uh, that's a good idea. Lisa says, um, for those of you that watch this later, she says, I think I'm going to try to record myself practicing during class. And that's, that's good to, to just record yourself so you get used to remembering you know, to press record or to press stop or to move your camera. Um, and then you just get used to being on camera, you know, or your voice, because your voice is, will be there if you don't want to. Sorry, I'm waving at people saying hi. Oh. Go ahead. But yeah. You need to get used to hearing yourself talk on camera. Yeah. I've done it so much that I actually hear the same as what other people hear at this point. It's about time for his PN meds. Hey, Brenna. So while we're waiting, we're going to give it four more minutes for people to join in. Um, go ahead and put something on your table to protect your table from any resin that may drip down. So you can cut open a trash bag, you can use a tarp, you can use a towel, you can use butcher paper, you can use basically anything. Like, this is, I'm gonna show them real quick what it looks like when you peel up a trash bag. Do you want me to turn the camera? Wait, we kept this so that you guys could see this. This is a regular trash bag. Excuse us. Is that like blown out? Uh, no, not yet. Um, as you can see, this is like a trash bag. Like this Leaving is out a the full string. string. And we laid this down so that, this is when we did one of the bigger pieces and we, we, did, we couldn't clean it up because it was on this plastic and we knew the cats would get up here. So we just laid this trash bag over it. And look, it's just peeling like, like nothing. Like just peeling, peeling up like it's nothing. And then if you have this plastic down, let's see here, where's my, Joe, he looked at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's see, look at this stuff. Look how easy that comes off. Just in the future, this is, this is plastic you get from Home Depot, the clear, or you can use the black, or, Trash bags. Trash bags work just as good. They're just a little thin and tend to move a little easier when you're when you're doing resin on them. Sandy says potty pads totally would work. Potty pads, yeah. Alright. How hot does that girl look today? I did not make up for you guys. Just Who's for you have guys. Eyebrows. <laughs> Could you? I'm gonna need you to calm down. It sounds serious. Sometimes He's it is. Between the little things, just to see if you're watching. But he does that for attention because he knows I drop yeah, everything to check on him. So I hope it doesn't distract you guys. Once we're going, he'll calm down. Um, I know peeling resin is so fun. Shower curtain liner, Teflon liners, all that is good. Plastic table covers, also good. You can get cheap shower curtains. Mm -hmm. 
That's what we used for classes when I first did our class. It's true. It is mermaidy. I even did some like fun space buns for you guys. Anyways, it is about 10 after, so let's get it going. We're going to get this here started. Oh, everything's pushed. Sorry about that. You can see how dirty. Yeah, I have no. Let me pull my pants up. <laughs> and if you guys are wondering about my own worst enemy, she is. Oh, it's too blown out. Do I turn that light off for a second? No, because the camera's in the way, anyways. I'll bring it over here to show you guys in a little bit. Hello. Deborah Cox, how are you? Here's your this. Oh no. I can't say that name. I, I apologize. I can't. I'm a horrible reader. Like, horrible, horrible reader. She says I, her name is K U K A N A. Um, I won't be able to do my, my swipe with you. It's 90 here in Hawaii. Yeah, that's pretty hot. And if you're outside. Um, <clears throat> Why does it do that? All right, I had to restart this one. I wonder why it does that. Time for more Give me two seconds. Got to dose the pot. Alright, so it'll be about five minutes. She's got to give Cujo his medicine. This time he wasn't, he wasn't playing around. My name is Susan. <laughs> That's a little easier. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, <clears throat> golly... 110 degrees, 101 degrees. All right. Um, so, how about we just um, let everybody um, let us know where you're tuning in from. That would be awesome. And if you're new to the channel, please speak up and say newbie. Um, we welcome everybody. Um, and just to let everybody know, if you're new and you are a OG, um, which means you've been following this from the first. Um, there are no dumb questions. You can ask any question you want, even if you might have seen it, and, but you didn't see the answer. Don't be afraid, just ask. And if we can't answer it, somebody with one of the little blue wrenches or somebody that doesn't, somebody might know. So um, go ahead and ask the question. There are no stupid questions at any time and point. Um, we're going to start from the beginning, so um, look at that. I love it. Um, Susan, I do use Golden. I have um, all the Golden here. I have Golden. I'm actually going to start using this stuff. I got, um, it's from Createx. It's called Createx Illustration Colors. This is a, a opaque black. I want to say it's opaque. I'm not sure. Um, Megan, thank you. And a white. <clears throat> and I got some uh, water base. Um, what do you call it? to thin it out if you need to, if you, if you like it a little thinner than normal. Um, and I got some transparent stuff too, so I can make that paint more transparent if I need. Um, I haven't used it fully yet. Um, I might be doing another one of those um, 
I think it's just going to be a series of, uh, of, uh, of my friend Billy the Kid. He's a radio, um, radio personality on the on a local radio station here, and he has uh, he does a lot of stuff for mental health, and it's called uh, it's okay to not be okay, and I thought that would be perfect for something that. Um, you know, a lot of people do struggle with, and I've dealt with it myself for my friends, whether it be um, depression or suicidal or whatever. Um, it's okay to be okay. It's okay to not be okay. That's what it is. Um, so, yeah. And I thought I'd do a couple of those and see about getting those to him and possibly uh, doing some sort of auction or something. What do we got? Let's take my vest off. Oh. Also, I need that. It'd be awesome if we can, like, donate. Yeah, Billy the Kid would be so down for that. I just thought about that the other day. I thought, Billy the Kid has that, that, uh, that thing that he does with, it's not, a, it's okay to be not okay. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Not to be mistaken with Billy Kid. Which yeah, is no. a Sam's Club version. Anyways, let's get on with it. James about to sleep. Why doesn't it say how many people? I don't know. Will you switch the camera so we can get on? Oh, sorry. They're all about me right now. Oh, it's true. I get that. Totally get that. All right. So here we go. And remember, um, just ask any question you like. Um, please don't type in in all caps unless you have a question you've asked and nobody has gotten to it or if something's on fire and i haven't noticed it then it can be all caps okay you guys so in your kit you got a cradle board this is one of the cradle boards we have on the website artistolove.com this is specially made for atd and atd purchasers fan clients etc it's lightweight it's awesome because you know resin gets heavy when you do paint on things and when you go to ship it um, it's heavy, so you want to have it as lightweight as possible when you first start out so that it doesn't um, cost too much money to sell your paintings. You also got some coasters. You should have four of them. Some are around, some are hexagon because I ran out and pandemic, etc. These are lightweight NDF as well, or regular NDF, but they're light color NDF. And they're awesome for coasters for many of the same reasons. You should also have some mixing cups in there as well. I put three under my cradle board to get it lifted off of my table. That way it's easier for me to manipulate it and tilt it if I so choose. And the rest of them we're gonna put uh, paint in. So your colors, most of them are labeled. The ones that went out before I got my labels in are not labeled, but all the colors are really easy to see. So the blue is Surf's Up by Resin Art. The gold is 007 by Color Obsession. The pink is Raspberry Crush Paste from Color Obsession. The white is Color Obsession Snow White. And the purple is Berry by Color Passion. You should also have some stir sticks. We sell these, everything here that we sell on our website, oh, by the way. Um, some stir sticks are clear, some are blue, because we had different um, manufacturers for these stir sticks recently, so they all work the same. The pandemic has uh, brought out the uh, scavenger in us. <laughs> Do you have plastic? Yeah. You got it? Cool. You got it? <laughs> we need it. Got that stuff? We got, we got friends, fam, and, and followers that need our stuff. ASAP. It's true. Um, you should also have a big mixing stick. It may look like this. It may look like a bigger version of the little ones. Either way, the big one is for mixing your part A and part B together. And you'll mix that in your this. I did get a report that some white leaked out. I'll be researching um, better ways to package that. And I did get a report that a couple of these cups did break in transit. So I'll be looking for new ways to package that in the future as well. Um, you should also have some swiping papers. You'll have a full set of these small swiping papers. 
and you also will have the mini stone coat art coat kits in your kit. If you bought it, if you didn't, and you're using stuff at home, I just decided to show you guys all that in the beginning so that you can grab what you have that's similar so you can paint them all with us. Now, first things first, well, after you raise your board, you can mix your resin. So for the 10 inch round, you really shouldn't need more than six ounces. We typically recommend making more than you're actually gonna need, but since you have the coasters for your leftovers, that's just ideal. All right, sorry, sorry, y'all. I got the reverb. I just had to remember to turn that on when we go to a different scene. Did everybody hear that okay since we did yeah, have a little bit of an echo? Uh, I think so. Cool. So now we're going to mix our resin on this cup. Which camera am I over? Yeah, here? I got it, guys. Thank you. So in this cup, you'll see a lot of measurements for one to one, two to one, and other things to one um, measurements. For this resin, since it is a one to one, you can either use the ounces, which is listed right here. So for this, since I recommended six ounces, you're gonna pour, pour part B up to the three, and then you're gonna pour part A up to the six, making six total ounces. You can also use the one to one. And if you're doing that, um, you're gonna pour up to the three on the first line and then up to the three on the second line for your part A and part B. I do recommend pouring the part B first because it is thinner and it'll it's less likely to stick to the sides which helps you to really more easily incorporate your resin together so you mix kind of less. It takes less time to mix completely. Also, if you could, before your hands get sticky, invite as many people as you can to watch along with you because I'm trying to grow our channel. Deborah, I, I honestly have no idea. Like, that's, I've never had that happen. I've never, that's never been an issue. What's the question? Um, Deborah says, had a glass dish that was in a house fire. It survived, but it had to be scrubbed to get smoke and soot off which took off some of the gold paint in spots. What would you recommend to paint it back on? Um, I guess it would depend on if it's just a solid color. Um, I would say probably just gold spray paint or maybe you can maybe you can go up a notch and do some gold leafing. I don't know. I don't know if, the, if it's see-through in parts or... Tell yeah, a send, a, send a picture. Or text a picture. Um, if you guys ever have any questions about resin or artwork that we can help you with, don't hesitate to send me an email at thornton at artisttoleft.com. Just know that I'm really bad about responding to emails, but it's quicker to shoot me a text, 214-402-9996. Sorry about my notes running. Life. Okay. I know I'm talking really fast. I just want to make up time for where I had to deal with my not coughing anymore baby boy moves. Um, how do you give them his meds? So, when you have your part A and part B in your mixing cup, we're going to mix for a total of three minutes. Clara, start the clock! Um, during this time, you need to make sure you periodically scrape the sides and the bottom and scrape your stir stick off as well. Bowie pants. This will ensure that um, your resin is 100% mixed together and won't give you any weak spots. Also, that's my puppy Bowie losing it on the bed because he's yeah. quiet all day. Why not be loud during the live feed? He does it every time that, that we uh, we go live. <laughs> and he's by himself in there. He's throwing a treat to himself. Like, he's literally by himself on the bed, throwing a stick. You would think that he was an only child. Uh oh, here comes the girl cat. She's ready. Bowie, are you just trying to play? Mm -hmm. I need all the attention right now, right here, right now. He's my little toddler boy. 
So this resin is really great for artwork for many reasons. So let me just give you a few of them. Um, it is low, no odor. It's got a great uh, viscosity and thickness. Um, so it's great for doming. It's one of the highest UV okay. rated resins that I know of. Uh oh, he's gonna get zoomy. Oh god. He's full on zoomy right now. Oh god. No Bowie's pants in the in the art room. Come on, out. Um, oh, he's like a big tiger, like. Oh. You want okay. me out? You win this time. Peasant. Here's your shoe. Um, it's scratch resistant, chemical resistant, water resistant, heat resistant, up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And the best, most awesome thing about it is that it has a two hour working time, which is something that I have yet to find in another resin. I'm looking now. I'm still reviewing other resins. I'm absolutely open to other brands. I just personally haven't found one I like better. So this is the one I like to use and it's the one that I always put in our resin kits if you get one from our website. So I don't know how far along we are in the mix. Clara, I need clarification. She said that she started the uh, timer. Yeah, I just can't read it when she says. <laughs> <it's a> Bowie! <laughs> He is just on another level tonight. I'm sorry, you guys. I know. So do you want to read for me and we'll like... Yeah, I do. I I'm just... ADD. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, y'all. Jeff, Jeff and Erica, do you ever use electric drill and paddle tube? Nah, we... Um, for Whitney, we don't, we, huh? Twice for a countertop. Yeah, well, with this stuff, we don't. It's not necessary. Um, it's just the risk of putting a lot of bubbles and so, then you overheat your <laughs> resin. Um, for a countertop, yes, we would definitely want to use it. It definitely, a lot faster. <clears throat> um, and it definitely mixes up um, a little bit better. The thing about using a power tool is it mixes in a lot of bubbles. That's yes, manual. Honest. It does have a two-hour working time. We worked it for three hours. We worked it for three hours in Arizona. In the summer. In the summer. It's true. Claire, I need a time check. How do we restart? So after I get all of the paints mixed together, I'm going to do a quick demo of a swipe on a coaster before um, we even get started on the main board so that you guys get kind of a feel for it. And if you want to at home, you can do a test pour on your coaster. Just remember that you need to make sure that you have enough for your 10 inch round. So don't go crazy. with your swipe on your board, I mean on your poster. Yes. So when you look at it, you'll see a lot of bubbles. Ooh, I meant to mention, um, if you need a respirator, a smock, um, goggles, face mask, whole hazmat suit, go ahead and put it on before you make your resin. A little bit late to say now, but um, know your body, know what you should or shouldn't be breathing in. We are in a very large, well-ventilated space, and I can't really talk to you if I have a respirator on my face. So please spare me all the judgmental things. I know what I'm doing, and um, I'm here to educate you guys. I've been checked. I go to the doctor every three months and get everything checked out. So that's not to say my situation is the same for everybody. Know your situation and be protected for your yourself. Go slow, can't get the tape off. <laughs> what? Is that Nene? Um, no, Ellen. So, Evelyn. on a lot of the jars, they're shrink-wrapped. And so, when you look at it, you should see a little perforated edge, like the Just Resin jars, if you've ever bought paint from me or Just Resin. So, just peel that vertically down. Let me get a Just Resin paint to show you guys. Mm 
Uh, John asks, what resin is it? We're using stone coat, countertops, uh, art coat. Um, and yeah, two hour. It's a two hour working time. Um, unless you're in, you know, you're outside and it's 80, 90 degrees outside, it's going to shorten. Um, and if you leave it in your bucket, you know, the original bucket that you have mixed in, um, we just recommend putting it in smaller cups just to separate it so that you don't have just one big old batch of resin. All right, you guys. So my jars of paint that I sent in the kit are wrapped exactly the same as this just resin jar. If you look at it, it's got shrink wrap. This one got damaged in transit, so it's kind of smushed on this side, which is why I'm gonna use it for my uh, demonstration. If you look right here, there's this little, I don't know if you guys can see at the end of my finger, it's perforated. You can just see two dots like here, do, 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 do. and right here. Do, 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 do. Can you see those? But you I can don't you think see so. those? It's too dark. You're like way too close. Oh. Yeah, that's better. So all you have to do is peel it just on this edge, and it'll pull this like tab up right there. And then you just peel that down and the, it's not tape, it's shrink wrap will just come off the sides so you can open the jar. See. Okay. Nice sound effects. Thanks. Do, 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 do. And doink, doink, doink are my two favorites. Doink, doink, doink. If you look at your resin and see swirls in it, like angel hair or like rice noodles or fishing wire, then it's not mixed completely and you need to keep going. Just don't mix it too vigorously because that's going to introduce more air bubbles. Also, I read that using a wooden stir stick will introduce more air bubbles. And also, the more vigorously you stir your resin, um, it could make it set up faster. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna give you guys one more minute to either open your paints or stir your resin and then we're gonna start mixing our colors. I'm gonna use this time to take a sippy. Not before I uh, Whitney says <clears throat> Whitney Simmons says any future plans of y'all coming back to Florida to do another resin class. Oh, After yeah. the COVID See, craze passes. Huh? Of course. Of course we are. We love Florida. <clears throat> we Ian said we could come back anytime. We're we just gotta go on back and and uh, being off time out. Yeah. We had a blast with Megan and Karen, her Australian friend. Mm -mm. UK. Oh, UK. Sorry, Karen. What was the song she sang? Do you remember? My back, my yeah. neck. Yeah, she sang the whole song the top of her lungs in a public restaurant. It was exciting. It we was pretty love awesome. Karen. Come okay. to Key West. We would love to come to Key West. Come what? to Alaska. <laughs> Christina, we would come to Alaska. You gotta promise me whales and icebergs and y'all heard it and, uh, jeff said he would go <laughs> to a cold place yeah mary jane thompson says how about sacramento we definitely want to come to uh to california go up hmm. into uh we're thinking about setting up a class while we're in california to do those countertops in october yes we have we have some countertops that we're going to be doing in la in la so we thought why not just set up a class while we're out there so we need a space and um emma may have a space i haven't even asked her yeah all right you guys let's make some color so you need five cups because you're using five colors now you need to decide how much of each color you want represented in your piece i'm going to start out by saying you want not a lot of gold gold will take over and we're just going to use it at the end as an um accent what are you laughing at? The Donna Parsons, Liquid Cosmo Art says, I'm still for kidnapping you guys for England. Oh, man, we would love to come to England. Love it. Sorry, the 
It was funny because it said show or delete. Deborah Cox, um, the concrete on lines on the floor are most likely from sheets of plywood. Right? So what I like to do when I'm mixing my colors, I like to put the color next to the cup that I'm going to use so that I know exactly which one correlates with which one. I know for sure that I want the least amount of gold because that will take over. So we're going to put just a little bit in here. For mine, I mix, I don't know what that equates to, but it's about a pinky width of resin. <clears throat> down to the bottom of that right there. Um, the berry is going to be our cell agent or cell activator if you're a, an acrylic person. But it is a what I would qualify as a base tint, which means when you put other colors over it is when you're going to get awesome huge cells. So that's going to be under our other colors. So we need kind of a good amount of that. So I'm going to fill like two thirds. No, Welcome, just a little Christy. over half. A little over half. Shot just a hair over half for the berry. Now I think I want my next prominent color. I think I'm going to go even, even Z's like half, maybe about half pink and then half blue, like half cup. Maybe it's just under half on this, so let me add just. Um, you actually may use a little bit less, which is fine. Um, if you want to make all eight ounces of your resin, also fine. And then I'm going to do about the same amount for my white as I did for my pink and my blue. Okay, Bowie Pants. Now I do still have some left over in my mixing cup, and that's because I'm going to use it for greasing the pan, which I'll go over in a second, as well as using it for... <laughs> what are you laughing at? Bowie. I think he's barking because he can't get by Cujo, who's just kind of guarding the walkway. Um, greasing the pan, and also in case I need to make more of a color. You never know if you're going to spill, if something's going to get dripped in your white. This happened to me today, and I had to make more white. So keep that in mind. I'm going to give you guys a minute to get your resin poured out. No rush. This is family time. Whitney Simpson says, do you get more cells from base tint or from pigment paste? Or does it matter? So, when you say more or less cells, that is really subjective um, because I can get cells with either. And I'm going to do a study for you guys on different whites. I've done it before and it's probably time I do it again. So, I get larger cells with the base tints, but I get frothy, ocean wavy cells with the Paste. And so it really depends on what kind of cells you're looking for, excuse me, to determine what kind of paste you want to use. I get the same amount from either. It's just how you use them, what heat source you use, and what ways you manipulate it. Like I wouldn't swipe without a base tint. This is something you really need to Holly, we can for. see you. Yes. Holly's art, art house. Poor baby all alone. He is not alone. He is right there. Can you see this, Jeff? I lost chat. We could see you. He's Let me trying see. to get something I'm under do the couch. Live chat. I thought I had it on live chat. What brand type is the berry you're using for the base tint? It is by Color Passion, which is a brand new paste out of Australia. All of their, they have one that they have labeled as a base tint. Will you see what he needs under the couch? He's sitting in front of his fan like he's sitting in front of his fan that's it um what they have one paste designated as a base which is a white they have white passion base tint but 
all of them work as a base, and I'm going to demonstrate that today because I don't know if you guys can see. Nope, I actually erased it at that point. So, you guys can see on this berry, it doesn't say anything about being a base, but it's going to operate as a base flawlessly. All right, I'm going to assume that you guys have your pigments ready to go and are ready to mix. Um, we need to, we, next time what we need to do is have it to where they have like a pencil in their mouth and they, and they just do the word Y and then enter. So we could say, are you ready? And they just push it. Boop. Mm. <laughs> so they can is say ready. Brush, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, lucky for me, I have a lovely assistant in Jeffrey, and he answers questions and types out things. Moving forward, we're going to do this 25th of every month. I'm thinking about doing it twice a month. Um, have a friend over, make sure they don't have a fever, and just have them type out things for you in enough. All right. I'm going to mix my color off of the board because if it drops on the board, then um, it's going to leave kind of streaks of color. I can actually have this pop out. So first up is the Surf's Up by Resin Art. This is a dry paste. All of her pastes for resin are dry. They're ultra, ultra amazing, very sparkly, shimmery. They're very awesome. I will tell you that I load all of my powders up extra much. She says it's not necessary. Extra much. Shut up. <laughs> Let me do my she thing. She said extra much. Uh. Anyways. It's been my experience that once you start to manipulate a powder that's in resin, it tends to thin out or fade or dilute. And so for me, if I extra load it, then it stays more true. If you um, extra much load it? Extra much. It's a thing. It's quantity. It's like <laughs> a buttload. Anyways. Also, the cool thing about these dry pastes are, you know when you mix most powders, they kind of plume up in your face? I can mix this as excitedly as possible and nothing plumed out at me. So that's something that's super awesome. Cujo, go lay down, sweetheart. Go lay down. How awesome is this color? Your resin will kick in soon, baby. Cujo. Want to hang out up here? Um, for those that don't know, Cujo has um, an enlarged heart. He's oh, a very delicate flower, <coughs> and um, he gets medicine twice a day. He's okay. very well looked after. Has nothing to do with resin, so please spare me on that. I've heard it has nothing to do with it. Um, he has free reign to be anywhere in the whole house. By the way, we have a loft. It's very open. But he's with his daddy over there, checking it out. Back to the artwork. This color is one of my all-time favorites. It's super rich, very beautiful. All right, now we have the blue. Um, the gold, you may need basically as much as I spent in the kit. This is definitely one you want to mix in off of your surface because it will float around. Be sure not to breathe in any micas okay. and stir it slowly. Don't stir it like I did the resin art because this will plume up in your face. The cool thing about 007 is that it's a metal flake and so it's not a mica, it's actual metal particles and they tend to float to the surface, which is very awesome. Look at that molten gold beautifulness. Beautifulness, beautiful nail. Thanks. All right. Now, we kiss cat. This is Wednesday. Look at Wednesday. If I ever don't you guys, wake up one day, she sits like this on the couch. 
like with her feet out. In my sleep. <laughs> She's getting so big. She's one of our poor animals. Poor, poor, poor animals. We definitely clean up a lot more <laughs> with kittens in the house. You literally want to put everything that, like, if you have a cup of water with paint brushes, you take those out. You empty that. You don't leave that anywhere. Wine glasses. Oh, they love to tip over wine, wine glasses. What are you eating, Bowie? Hmm? So the next you color dog food? is a white. Out. Come on, out. I know. Come on. Sorry about the animal stuff, you guys. Come on. Um, we're a working household, so I'm sure a lot of you guys understand that thing that most people are working <laughs> from home. So now I have the white mixed up. This is an awesome white for frothy cells. Um, I'm just using it in this piece for a white look. I'm not really going after cells for it, but I can show you some cells made with this uh, that have nothing to do with. In fact, I'm gonna mix up some extra white so I can show you the difference in a base tint cell and a top cell. Bear with me a second while I mix up just a little bit more white. What brand of white is that, Erica? This is Color Obsession Snow White. You could also use... Here for the animal stuff. Varez <laughs> White. Or uh, I think there's Angel White. Or... Um, sorry. Titanium White by Just Resin. You could also use Cast and Craft White, Alumilite White. All of those are fairly interchangeable depending on what function you're doing. For this, all of those will work. Really anything will work with what we're doing tonight. The thing that you have to be cautious of or uh, mindful of is the base because that's really the active ingredient in this. Next up is the <laughs> Color Obsession Raspberry Crush. Let's, let's take, I'm going to take care of this. Um, Jacqueline, just so you know, when you just because you mix a powder to part A in resin, you're not changing anything. You're not changing the chemistry of, of that. You're not making a paste. You're just making the powder into, not into liquid. Powder. Yeah, you're, so, not, you're not making a paste. When people say you can make a powder into a paste, what they mean is that you can make a powder into not a powder. You're not making it to where it has the chemical properties of a paste. Unfortunately, sorry about that. But it's like if you have to like make a, a stain remover for your laundry and they're like, turn this baking soda into a paste. That just means it's not a powder. It is now a very thick liquid. Yeah. It is not changing and, the chemical makeup of And the you're powder. just adding, you're adding more part A to your part B, so therefore you need to add a little bit more part B. When you create your painting just to make sure it's even, because you really want to make sure that you have the proper measurements. All of that being said, if it works for you, honey, go for it. Yeah. Make your artwork. All I'm Here's saying is from what we've yeah. experienced and what we're doing. I can't read that from here. You want my glasses? No, I want you to turn it. <laughs> well, just, and I have that so you can see. Your, okay. You're like sure. out of frame though. You're out of frame. I'm mixing Thanks. colors. I'm going to uh. pull that back in. So the last is the berry. This is the important ingredient for this particular pour. This is going to create all of those large um, webbing type cells that are bigger than like a pinhead. I still need you to help me go through all these. I'm, I'm, babe, I have them. Okay. I'm, I'm oh, on it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It's easier for me to read them here than to. I gotcha. Like. So I sent you all with the, um, over the amount of paint you need to mix into your resin. If you wish to use all of it, it's not going to hurt it because all of these are paints made specifically for resin. For example, if you were to mix some acrylic paint into your resin, it could set it off sooner than you would like. And set it off means it's going to start to cure faster. And that's because resin doesn't really like water-soluble paints. 
So inks and acrylics, no go. It'll work. It's great for intro pieces, but in terms of longevity and things that will work the best for resin, they are a little bit more expensive, but they last so much longer. And if you're gonna sell your work, you need to make sure that you use quality ingredients. That sounded like I'm talking about, I've been watching a lot of Food Network stuff lately. I was making sure you weren't drinking resin. Resin. All right, so while you guys are mixing up your everything, I'm going to do a coaster. Nope, I'm going to do two coasters. And the point of doing these two coasters is to show you the difference in a base tint and a top um, cell. Base cell and a top cell, okay? I'm going to move you all up into the area. Is that good, you guys? Yeah, resin definitely tastes terrible. You only do that like once or twice. Like, I've done it more than twice. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Julio Martinez says, I'm in Dallas too, but my house stays around 69. That's fine. Ideally for resin, it works best in a dry 72 to 75. However, we've worked it in the dead of winter. We worked it during monsoon season. We've worked it in Arizona. We worked it in Florida, down in the swamps. Not that medium lives in the swamps, but you know, it's humid. We've worked it in Australia. This resin works in almost any climate. So if you don't have to follow along on this, I'm just showing you guys the difference in a top and a base. In fact, I'm gonna do one more so I can show you what happens if you use a base wrong because it's very important that it is under the other colors. If you put a base on top of your other colors, it's you're just not gonna get anything cute. So, I'm putting this down first for my other resin to glide across. It could be any color. It could be clear. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you're using a torch tonight, make sure that it has butane in it. Or propane if you're using a propane torch. The heat source tonight really doesn't matter that much because its only function is going to be to pop the bubbles by adding the heat. Um, we're not going to be manipulating the resin with the heat source, so it's completely up to you what heat source you use. Some people are afraid of torches because fire. I'm here to tell you I've injured myself more with a heat gun than a torch. Give it a See that nice baseball, basketball looking ring right there? It's brought to you by a torch. Anyways. Okay. So, first things first. I'm going to fill out my torch. <laughs> J Nene said she took a drink of alcohol once, but didn't swallow it. <laughs> Not even I have done that. So you, you went on that one, Drew. Booger, what's up? I'm just hitting it with a little bit of heat to pop these bubbles. Now, um, I'm doing this just so you guys can see a demo before we do the actual piece. Don't worry, the resin that I sent you is going to last well beyond what we're gonna be utilizing and you got time. So the first one I'm going to do is going to be a top cell, uh, which means that it, um, the one that I want to sell, for example, on this 
demo is going to be the white. This is going to be Snow White from Color Obsession. It's going to be on top, and it's going to be for uh, frothy waves and things like that. Um, this works best if it's on top of the other colors. You can use a torch, you can use a heat gun, whatever means of heat you want to get these cells. Um, this class isn't going to be about these kind of cells. I'm just doing a demo to show you guys um, that I need my heat gun. That's what this demo is about, apparently. Because it didn't do any of what I wanted it to do. I promise I know what I'm talking about. Alright. I'm going to get my heat gun and we're going to do that demo. Um, Deborah Cox just wants me to learn about the floors here at the, at the old <laughs> Sears and Robux building. Thank you, Deborah. <laughs> sure you about the floors. She, I guess she knows about why the floors are the way they are here. Okay. So this one has um, direct relation to what we're trying to do on this piece. I have put my cell agent or the selling base tint in front of the color that I'm gonna be moving over it. This is the proper way to use the base tints of any brand. If it says it's a base tint, then it belongs under your other colors. That means that I'm not gonna get purple cells, I'm gonna get white cells. Whatever color goes over your base tint will be what sells. Think of it like, um, oil slick maybe so I'm gonna put the white over maybe a white and a little bit of pink over my purple I'm not gonna go purple cells I'm gonna get pink and white cells so when you do a swipe you want to really take your time you want to lay it as flat as possible let me try to should I try to get that like and you want to move really slow because you want to allow the resin to pick up and redistribute as you move across the surface. And I could leave this alone and it'll start selling by itself. If I hit it with a safety look right here, if it'll focus, it's starting to sell up already. You can already see some of those. I was like, cells what populate. is this doing here? I've been taking shots when they're not looking. Ugh. But if I hit it with some heat, they'll get even larger. Now I'm not gonna tilt or do anything to this. I'm just gonna set it aside and let it do what it's gonna do just for a moment. Oh my God. While I show you what not to do with a base tint. I'm just gonna set that just inside the camera. Okay. So if I do the exact same thing, but an opposite, so that I'm pushing my base tint over the white. You'll see that it doesn't really do the same awesome things. I'm just gonna let it pick up the pigment. I'm gonna take my time going across the surface, just like before. Now, it's doing a little bit. There's a little bit of like polka dots and things coming up here. I hit it with a little bit of heat. Maybe it'll give me something. Oh yeah, there's a couple of spots. But as you can see, there's really no comparison. This is with it under the other colors, and this is with it over the other colors. Now, if I were to go back in and swipe the pink over the purple, making it essentially a base under the pink, it'll give me pink cells. I'm 
gonna let that sit and pick up some pigment. Manipulate it over that purple. Thank you, Clara. <clears throat> Holly says, the cells on the first coaster are sick. Right? Heather says, okay, start over. Look, they're already <laughs> starting to come up. What's up, Donna Parker? TZ. Bananas already, and we didn't even have a heat yet. Now they're starting to come up. But it still has nothing on these first cells. So as you can see by that quick demo, you really want your base tint to be under oh, yeah. your other ones. I'm going to move these aside. We'll revisit that. Um, and I'll show you about that um, one that didn't work out later in the show. Now, come here. All right. Let's get ready to do our piece. Um, I hope it's okay that I did those demos to start with because I really want you guys to have a handle on what you're doing before you put your resin down because I think it's important to have an idea of the mechanics before we go. But I saw a blind here. We're about to have a problem. Okay, Renee has a question. When you order a pigment or paste, does it normally tell you if it's a base tint? Or how do you know which it is? When we were carrying stone coach base tints, it said base tint. Um, now that I don't carry them anymore, I'm just letting you know that any color passion paste will act as a base tint. And the only reason why I haven't labeled it as such on the website is because she doesn't have it labeled that way, and I don't want to confuse people if they're looking for a specific gracious. color. Now, let's get going, guys. So I'm going to take the clear that we have left over, and I'm going to grease the pan with it. What's that, B? Oh, nothing. It doesn't take a lot. And it doesn't really matter if you didn't prep your board because all of the paints that we're using are opaque today. And opaque, if you don't know, which is fine, just means that you can't see through it. It's a solid color. Translucent means you can kind of see through it depending on the light source. And transparent means you can see it straight through it, girl. <coughs> So this Bowie, this is called greasing the pan. It doesn't have to be a thick layer of resin. I call it greasing the pan because my mom, when she came up here last time, I was showing her how to do a pour. It is on the channel. Um, I was showing her how to do it and I was like, I lay a little bit of resin down so that the other resin glides over it more easily. And she was like, I don't like greasing a pan when you're baking. And I was like, yes. So now I just refer to it as greasing the pan. So paranoid about there's a fly. Got him. Waste not, you guys. I'm drinking box wine on a budget. Okay. So you should have your base layer down. If you don't have that much clear left, just stretch it. Make it work. Just make sure there's no dry spots on your piece. Doesn't have to be a lot. It doesn't have to be a thick layer doesn't have to be a thin layer. You just want something down because resin flows more easily where resin has already been. Kind of like alcohol inks, kind of like watercolors, kind of like water in general. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of heat to pop some of the bubbles. I'm also taking this time to pick out anything that may have landed in it. Arlene says, are all color passions all base tints? All of the ones that I have tested thus far have been, which leads me to believe that yes. I haven't tested all of them, but all the ones I have tested have worked as base tents, so I'm gonna assume for you guys that yes, they all are. Because I talked to the manufacturer and they said they're all basically manufactured the same way. Now, 
I'm going to do, for me, um, this is not going to be a negative space piece. I can do a class on negative space if you guys want. Just comment and let me know if that's what you guys would like to see. I do want to know what you guys want in the next class. Um, for I sure, it will be say. one transparent at least. I'll have a tint. Um, so let me know. Uh, for this one, I'm going to add the color to the center and swipe both upwards and downwards, creating kind of a part. It looks to me kind of like a cityscape against the water. Don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. So if you guys are ready, I'm going to add color. Speak now or forever. Hold your peace. I'm going to take hold one sip. Pour. <laughs> Speak now or forever. Hold your pour. Or just hold it for a minute. Hi from Vancouver. Hey Vancouver. I did get some white paste on my piece. That's fine because we're gonna swipe over that anyway, so don't stress about it. Now, when you apply resin, if you haven't done it before, you really wanna start your pour off the piece and end it off the piece. So clear everything out of the way. And the reason for this is because when you first start hey. um, pouring resin, it kind of globs and there's like this teardrop effect. And you want that like blurb in the beginning to start off the piece. Don't think of it as wasting resin. Think of it as having a consistent flow while it's on your piece. Just like that. That's my first um, bit of resin on here so far. And you'll see that the stream that you first put down will probably be thinner than what it looks like at this point because it's settling because resin self level. So it's going to kind of just blob on and flatten out. Perfectly fine because this is not a negative space piece. Unless you want it to be, in which case, put thin lines. For me, the next color I want will be, I think, the blue for me. You can pour them on in any color you want, but the purple must be your first color. Okay? Okay. 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 And these are going to get poured on in the same fashion, slightly off to slightly off. I'm, I'm looking. Everybody wants negative space. And you did say you were going to talk about negative space. Hmm. I'll talk about negative space. But this class is on the swipe, not on negative space. But you did say you were going to do negative space. To do negative space, people will have to prep their boards. I know. Okay, next color. I think, I think I'm going to go white next. Oh, goodness, Bowie pants. And I'm going to get a little bit crazy and put a line of purple again. And then a line of pink. And then probably a line of white. Buckeye, Arizona. That's a fun name. Maybe we'll do the negative space next month. Would you guys want a transparent piece next month or a negative space piece? With negative space, I'm going to have to send out a bigger round so that the kit may be a little bit more expensive. Yeah, because it's real easy to get away from you. Like, because you think you need to like pour a big O upset. and then like... Uh, I wouldn't do it on a 10 inch. It would have to be a 15. Maybe I we should just start them out with coasters. Huh? Maybe just start them out with coasters because you have to. For negative just, space? Yeah, just because it's so small that you would force yourself to really just pour a little and then a bigger one you'd be like okay just you definitely know okay Bowie come on he could come through there come through where? through here but he doesn't go through just like that babe he's gonna eat the cat food I'll watch him okay so I'm gonna assume that you guys have your paint down now to swipe, your resin has to be not cold. So it's better if you're not in a freezing environment. 
don't scorch your resin, but give it a good heat um, just once over or a twice good over. Up. Give it a good heating up and. Um, Let me see if I can post on a couple different. Base tints do not like heat, so all you want to do is give it a slight liquefying situation. I'm going to take one of my swiping papers, tear it in half. You can use a whole sheet if you want to, but I find it easier to control little ones, and I really want those individual stripes of color. Now, you can tell that there's a base tint in here because of how it's reacting. See how there, when the purple touches the white right here, how it's kind of like, there's that light purple sheen or shadow. That's the base tint reacting with the color next to it. Now, here's some 101 swiping information. You want to make sure that no, I would use the swipe this way instead of this way because this is pointing downward. And if you use that on your resin, it's just gonna script like if you put your nail in and drug it through. So you want any um, edges pointed upward. Should I move that airbrush camera to the side so that you can see like exactly? Why is this wanting to move? Probably because your hands are really tight. Sorry for the movement. That's good. Now, you want to lay this flat. I use both hands to lay it flat down. You're putting no pressure. You're just letting the liquid... Sorry, you guys. Well, I didn't hear a scraping. <laughs> what was the last thing that you guys heard? I always do that. I always forget when I switch that. It's okay. Because it's an echo when we have... I need to put the Yeti mic on there. Okay. Hey, just be sweet. 
You want to draw? Here. So draw. pull, and we're going to drop the paper. Look. Okay? So I'm just using uh, a third, maybe, of the paper. And if you want to, mm -mm. I'm thinking about adding a stripe of blue through here, just to give it a little something extra for me to swipe through so it's not all the same. It doesn't really matter what color you start in, just make sure that it picks up a pinky's width. And I'm pulling straight down through it. Take your time so it doesn't skip over the resin. Because you really want a consistent pull. Unless you like the skip look, that's perfectly fine. I like to tear my paper in half at this point so I can use this half sheet again. Mm -mm. Don't lick that. Don't lick the table. It's dirty. Oh yeah, that was perfect right there. So I'm going to add the gold after the fact. <laughs> mm -hmm. If I were to swipe the gold, it would completely take over. If you would like to do that, absolutely do it. For me, in my artwork, it's an accent color, not um, an integral color. Integral color. So this one I'm going to lay down. I'm putting no pressure on. Taking my time. Because you really want to allow the resin to pick up and redistribute as you go. And you can see on my second swipe where I kind of got a little bit too fast. So the cells are showing down to the tan. Let's um, just make that a little bit bigger. I may re-swipe that because of that look. I really want some more blue on the top, so I'm going to add some more right here. Let's keep it moving. Make sure your edges are curled upward, not downward. Pull towards yourself. Just lay it on there lightly. Take your time. You should be able to see cells already popping up in your other swipes. Notice the slower I go, the less of the board shows through. Oh, there's a little heart right there. E, that's for you. Alright, we're on our last little quadrant. No, that doesn't make sense. Not quadrant. You know what I mean. <laughs> Pentas. I don't know. Oh, almost messed up. I need to curl this upward. Taking the time. You see how slow she's going? Always remember, always slow it up. Um, in every class we've taught in person, I tell people at the beginning when I'm doing the demos that at some point I'm going to say slow down to everybody in the class. It never fails. It happens every time. All right, where are you going to? Oh, oh, leave it. Point it down? Yep. Or actually just bring it down. If you can just like bring it down. There you go. And then, yeah. Point. Mm -hmm. It should be good. All right. Next. Since I have a lot of blue showing right here, I'm going to kind of angle this swipe to pick up some of the white and some of the blue. All of that is an awesome choice. You just want to make sure that you don't have purple on the top. Yeah, that's um, <clears throat> Holly's Art House says slow and don't dig in with your swipe paper. That's 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 a good tip because you're you're literally just letting the paper drag along and picking up everything and going over it. You're 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 not doing anything. The paper is just kind of dragging it along. You're not pushing down. No, you're not. And do not go in vertical because you're just going to end up scraping the resin off. You want to be as horizontal as possible. 
just lay it on there and let the fact that it's a liquid and this paper is dry do all the magic for you. If you find that you're skipping over places, slow down. If you find that you slow down and you're still skipping like mine just did, see that right here, that's a skip. Um, that is gonna be from the fact that my resin is cooling off. So I'm gonna add some heat, it's not a big deal, don't stress about it, it is what it is. We're just gonna add some heat and we're gonna swipe right back over that. In our classes, I find that people tend to stress out when it doesn't do exactly what they want it to do. When in reality, everything can be fixed when it comes to resin. Donna asks, so what was the reason you didn't lay your color all the way down on the circle? Or was it more or less wasting? It would be wasteful. There's no point if I'm gonna swipe all the way over it, why waste the pigment? Why waste the resin? If I could just put a thin clear layer on and get the same effect, why would I put? I guess what, what how I would answer that, I guess, would what you just said, and then she didn't prep this board. She's just doing this to to show you guys uh, the swipe technique. You could, you could have painted your board any color you want, um, and then she would probably still just put down a clear coat. You don't want to put down all this paint down and then it just get muddy, right? All the extra paint for your grease the pan. Yeah, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't want to sure. do that. I wouldn't want it to get muddy. I'm hoping that's not too much purple. If it is, I'll have to re-swipe it. Uh, my concern is because if there's a lot of purple showing on top, you'll notice that I'm using the purple to create the cells, but a lot, none of the cells are actually purple. You want me to wait? Yeah, let me see what's on that. Mind if I do. Uh, up and forward. Like the whole thing, up and then, nope. And point it down the camera beautiful I love that you get a little different angle here and you can see you can see on this angle how much paint she's picking up see where that white and pink stripe is with a little bit of purple in the front that's how much paint No mud. Mud is bad. <laughs> mud is bad. That looks so awesome. It reminds me of the bomb pops back in back in um, when we used to go get ice cream. Oh yeah. So there are a couple things that I want to fix. I have this white blur here from where I added some colors. I'm just gonna swipe that into the piece. Gosh. He is just a madman right now. He's living his best pom pom life. Oh, wow, he sounds kind of vicious. It's cute. What are you doing in here, buddy? You want some of this? Mm -hmm. I like kind of having that line kind of in the middle. I'm also a fan of adding a little bit of resin to my swiping paper. And just some breaks. The Bank of America building is all red, wet, and blue. It looks awesome. Flag.
I know it probably drives you guys crazy that you're actually doing this right now and can't type, but thanks for being patient and and if you have any questions, just wait till after we're done with this and we'll try to answer all of them. I love how this looks. It looks so fun. I haven't even hit it with heat yet and it's still like super selling. Yeah. Is everybody's uh, is everybody's got some cells that they that they're happy with? I am gonna have to hit it with some heat though. I don't want to hit it with too much heat because bass stands do not like that much heat. Chuck's guitar stand says, "I like the smell of the paste." Chuck, don't eat the paste. Did you eat paste when you were a little kid in in, in school? <laughs> paste. Glue. Isn't that what it was called? Paste. Glue paste. Maybe. <laughs> So I think for me, I may add some gold down the center and swipe it in too. Um, that's not to say that if you aren't into it, if you like the way it looks, understand that with resin paintings, if you like it, don't add more to it. Think of it like that old uh, saying, when you leave, take off however many accessories. It's okay to use your nose to type. I am going to experiment so and add some gold, though. All right, let me put it. Actually, I'm not going to put it through the center. I'm going to add it to a striping paper and just add it that way. Because I think that's going to add some color. Yeah, that's what I think. Which way? Where are you going to start? Uh, I'm probably going to go crazy and start in the middle. This may not pay off, but I'm happy to uh, experiment for you guys. So it's not a lot. I didn't add a lot of paint to my striping paper at all. It's super yeah, old and minimal. Will you back the airbrush camera up if you're gonna start right there? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a glare. Are you switching to the overhead? No, that looks fine. If you're gonna go down, it doesn't matter. Mm. Mm. I'm going to swipe probably through maybe right here. So it's not a lot of paint on my this. I don't care for the paste, but the, the glue wasn't bad. Ew. <laughs> I'm just going to start right in that part that we started on. Let it pick up. I should be doing this towards my I was going to say, don't do as she does, does as she say. <laughs> Is that what that is? No. That <laughs> yeah, it is. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Not do as she does. Um, that's What's up, fun, JJ? But it's a little bit too solid, so I'm gonna swipe some white. I have to keep doing that. Right over it, but I'm gonna do it towards myself. As you can see, it broke, which is fine. We should have plenty of swiping papers to play around with. I'm just gonna let a little bit of it pick up so I can just incorporate the gold. If I were to have um, put the gold all over, it would have absolutely eaten up the entire design. And I wanted to be able to control it, so that's why I put it on after the fact. If you like how your piece looks, don't bother with the gold. I'm gonna I'm gonna change camera angle so you guys can see just how how much she's putting that paper down once more just to just to get an idea. It looks great. Oh, you're doing the dip swipe. Mm -hmm. That's good. I forgot about dip swipe. That just gives me a lot more. Oh, I'm doing it again, going in that wrong direction. So if you catch yourself doing this, just go all the way off the piece and drop it. Yeah, do not go back over your piece with that. Brianna, um, she says, I'm not gonna get, oh, Oh, I'm gonna get next month's kit. Super new and wasn't able to get this month's kit in time. Yeah, you gotta get it before the 20th. We, uh, unless you live near or in Dallas and you can come pick it up, you know, a day before or a day of, it's completely up to you. But we suggest you get it 
Um, we normally take it off to site on the 20th. Mm -hmm. You guys, I just found my new favorite technique. So I'm gonna share with you live right now. Okay, so we're gonna add just a little bit of gold onto our swiping paper. It's like them apples, right? Chunder. Chunder. It's old Southern term. Uh uh, that is a made up. Chunder way. You. So. That's scary. Wait, mm -hmm. let me change cameras. Cause they're like way over. All right. All right. So I'm gonna put it down, but shift it slightly, then pull. I'm pulling kind of fast because I want it to kind of break and like trail off. Then I'm going to turn it around so I can pull towards myself. I'm gonna take my paper, lay it down, shift it, and then pull. Oh, shift it. All about that shift. I'm only shifting like half out of oh, where I just swiped. Nice. And that's going to help create that line that I really like in these kind of pieces. It's, it's e-speak, Jeff. We get it. See? They know. Chandra is to vomit in Australia. Ew. <laughs> Scarlett Quinn says, oh my God, I just got here. Can you make it go longer? That's what she said. <laughs> we're going to be doing um, the coasters in just a second, so. Yeah, we're going to be doing coasters. Oh, I'm so digging it. I think mm -hmm. I love it. I'm going to hit it with some heat, and then we're going to take it to the dust free zone. That gold really ties in where my resin broke and is allowing the um, color of the board to show through. It's a great tie-in. Can I have the overhead? I just want to show everybody. Let me get it all in the, let me get it all in the picture here. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's so zoomed in. I'm super pumped with how this piece turned out. I hope you guys are as well. I don't know about you guys, but I have some resin left over, so I will be doing some coasters. I, I can't even handle it. I'm so pumped about this entire parted look. I know it's been done, but... Um, you call that the 30s part. Mm. I haven't done it that often. Mm. Bowl cut. Do, 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 do. She's going to take that over into the dust-free zone. Very purdy. I still get confused. Well, Holly, just ask. If you get confused, just ask whatever, whatever your dilemma is. Whatever you, you don't understand, ask anytime. What can I help with, Holly? I'm here for you. The carnage. give you guys time to finish your piece. I'm going to refill my wine while you're doing that. No rush, no stress. I'll be right back. Jeff is right here to answer your question. I've ordered from Color Obsession and Just Resin. Hopefully the packaging will clarify which is top or bottom. What? 
I don't know. Say it again. Brianna says, I've ordered from Color Obsession and Just Resin. Hopefully, the packaging will clarify which is top and bottom. So, Color Obsession and Just Resin are all top cell pigments. You will not have to... No, hopefully packaging will clarify which is top and which is bottom. Like it as doesn't in, matter because they're all top. There are no, no base, no bottom. Oh, I thought she meant like the package itself, like which is the top or which is the bottom. No, love. whatever side has a label is really the top. Holly's heart art. I just messed up my top coats and base coats for sales. Well, just reverse what you did. We'll see you later, Mary. Thank you for joining us. Well, we try to, Brianna. We just we understand people. People are new to this. This is a this is a new medium, and every single day there's somebody new. <clears throat> and uh, it's something. It's something we you know we don't mind doing. Just just answering a question a lot of people don't like to do it but I know love the gold can you say the name again yellow seven by color obsession so I'm going to show you guys a handy dandy pro tip trick for if you don't like what your piece looks like watch because this is very classified very tricky design All say right. i don't like this part right here <sighs> boom boom problem solved okay tutor now just add more of whatever color was there and keep on with your piece. I can't tell you how many times we showed that in our classes and people were like, what? You can do that? You guys, take a look at how our first coaster is doing. Where are you? There you are. Dar asked, will the color passion powders work as a base coat for cell swipes? No. No. There you go. Powders are, do not work the same. There's a chemical in the paste. And if you want to um, test the theory of if I mix a little bit of part A into a powder to make it the same as a paste, then what you can do is mix a little bit of part A and a powder from color passion because all of their pastes are made probably with the same brand of colorants. So mix some um, part A in there if you want to try it out. Use it as a base tint, swipe some color over it. See if it sells. If it doesn't, then... Lisa says, what about adding categories to your store for base cell pigments versus top cell pigments and paste? Brilliant. <laughs> We're trying to restructure our website as we speak. Um, because I don't, Jeff and I don't have any help right now. Making time to redesign the website is going to be tough, but we will do it for you guys. Please give us any feedback that you guys have, and we'll, we'll do our best to make it work. Jasmine asks, is there a way to prevent my cells lacing from getting wonky, more uniform shaped. Um, less heat, Yeah. less messing with it, and make sure your surface is level. Because what happens is, you're, after you swipe, the more heat you add will make the resin thin. And when you thin out your resin, it's going to try to even get more flat level and it may even run off. But it's going to shift every time you add heat to it. What about adding less pigment? 
will that work with that kind I of stuff? I don't. I haven't done extensive testing on like hybriding the paste, so I, I can't attest to that. But if you look at this one, this looks very uniform, very rigid cell structure. And the reason why is because I only added heat right before I swiped and, and immediately after, and it was very quick just to pop the bubbles. If I were to add heat right now, it would start to blur out a little bit. So less heat, the better, less manipulating it, the better. The thinner your resin is, the more it's gonna try to mix with the other colors as well. So let's do some coasties, shall we? Where are you? Not there. Okay. Right here? Yeah, you are. Jasmine says, so it doesn't matter if I add too much or too little pigment to my resin. Like if I'm using Snow White or Titanium White, etc. If you're using a pigment made for resin, it's very much more forgiving if you add too much pigment. Very much more. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> it's a lot more forgiving. So let's make some coasties if you guys are ready. I'm just going to add some paste. Pick a color, any color. And I'll tell you what, coasters are such an important part of a resin or any poor artist's repertoire because repertoire we sell so many coasters when we do art shows craft shows art fairs craft fairs any of those lives. things <laughs> pardon lives oh lives i thought you said lives i was like excuse me <laughs> we sell so many and we've had our whole like booth fees and all of our like entry fees to do shows paid in full by our coaster sales alone. At $5 a piece, this racks up. So every time you have any extra resin, have coasters on hand for it, which is exactly why we added in the kit. It's so important. What's that, B? My stomach is hurting. I'm almost done. So I added color on both sides. I'm just gonna add some white and some of the base tint on top of each other. I'm going to swipe in either direction. Just see what it does. I think it'll be awesome. Can, um, I can do a blue and gold coaster. Looks like I've swiped all over my face tint. If you guys notice, I use a new swiping paper every time. And that is because you really want a clean. Judy Williams paper. says, How do you finish your posters? So I'm digging this side, not so much this side. So what we're going to do is, cat, what we're going to do is we're going to add more pigment on this side and we're going to re-swipe it because we can do what we want. We're artists, right? See. Hey, how do you finish your posters? Oh, um, I asked Jeff to do it for me. So I added new resin, so I'm going to add a little bit of heat so that it flows more easily. Make sure my tips are pointed up. 
or um, Clara, you can also just lay them flat. Make sure that your dust-free zone is flat and level, and just lay them on plastic so that you don't have to uh, mess with the drips or sand or take the tape off. Sometimes tape will, will, will mess with the, uh, with the MDF. Sometimes it'll adhere to it sometimes with the resin. You take a chunk off, I've seen it happen before. Or if you get our Still clear posters, you just leave one side of the paper on and you just peel it off the next day. So on this next one, I'm going to show you guys what it's like if you add gold into your swipe, which is going to be why we didn't use it in our initial piece. So I'm going to do this just like our first piece. Um, we have a video out on how we finish the backs of posters, but essentially we sand we down. Huh? Like I said, if we don't have a Jeff, how would we do it? Have a what? A Jeff. Oh, a Jeff. So, what? <laughs> get first, step one, find a Jeff. So, what we do is we sand off any bumps that we may have on the back. We usually don't have any because we lay these flats on a plastic sheet or trash bag until um, they're set up. And then, if there's any runoff, it's just on the side and we can exacto blade it off. Um, the next step would be to spray paint the back a solid color. So for this one, um, I'm going to use a lot of um, the purple probably or whatever the dominant color is. We'll spray paint that on the back, just any solid color that accentuates the front side. And then we'll get some bumpers that are used for cabinets uh, so they don't slam. You can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's, any... What is it in Australia, Bunnings, any hardware store, or probably even Amazon, and we'll just add a few of them to the back, and it's ready to go. We always sign it in the middle. All right, what did I say I was going to show you guys on this one? Oh, yeah, gold. So let's say I'm adding my base. I'm going to add my pink. I'm going to add some blue. I'm going to add some gold. Thank you, Clara. Thank you, Julie. You're welcome. I'm going to add my white. I'm going to heat it so that it slides more easily, and I'm going to turn it towards myself because since the purple is my base, it has to be under the other colors, and I need to swipe towards myself, so it needs to be on the inside so that I don't get confused, which I will get confused if I'm not careful. So, turn my edges up. I'm going to do this just like we did on the piece. I'm going to lay it down and let all the colors stick. Take our time, very horizontal. Watch this piece call me a liar and it not take over and just look amazing. My biggest you fear in life. There's a hair, let me get that out. So I'm going to let that set and relax. I can also do. Um, a tilt. To get that wider section of resin off. Okay, this looks kind of great. B. You can't see it. So there is a lot of gold, but because I put so many colors on top of it, it's just kind of peekabooing out. Hopefully it will stay that way because I really love how it looks. And in fact, we're gonna to try to replicate it on this last poster that we have. Put some clear down. Just 
going to be the last of my clear. That's the thing about resin though, you guys, just because you know it to be fact and you've done it so many times and it just is, it happens this way every time. That's not to say that it doesn't change it up a little bit every once in a while. Look how great these cells look after setting for a minute. They're just super large webbing cells and that is a byproduct of having a base scent. Okay. How long have we been live, you guys? This resin is still ultra workable. Give it time. 74 thumbs up. Can we get some thumbs up? Bam. Can you show us some love and give us some thumbs up? We have 160 people watching. Thank you guys for watching along. 165 people. Okay. Now we're going to do the same as we've been doing and swipe towards us. Let it pick up. Take your time. That's a nice See how easy it is you guys to make these? It's it's the best thing you can do for selling small stuff at car fairs and craft show money. Printing money, you guys. Yeah, it's you're just printing money right now. Because here's the logic. You have a bunch of big, beautiful artwork pieces that catch the light and are gorgeous and they catch people's eye and they come into your booth and they look at the price tag and they're like, oh, I don't have $600 to spend on this do, huge though. piece. That's what you do. Have a, have a $600 piece and then have five or six $50 pieces or, you know, couple hundred dollar pieces and then have a bunch of coasters and a bunch of twenty dollar pieces like you will definitely sell something don't quote me on that it might, go, it might be some from our experience some poor people that can go to those things we we always have large very sparkly very shiny pieces that are in direct sunlight so they catch people's eye they get in and may not be able to afford our large whole paintings but they don't want to leave a craft show or an arts fair or something like that empty handed they want to have something to show that they had been there so they're going to go for whatever is affordable have keychains have magnets have coasters 100% you're going to sell kids, some stuff kids love to ask can I have something and that's perfect for kids right you can pick you can each have one coaster pick it and it will be your coaster always works out that way check out these cells they have been growing you guys i feel like i'm a farmer of cells be evergreen them for cells mm. except for right now it's a little bit bluey and purpley check those out you guys dun, dun, dun. Um, I have a little bit of resin left. Do you guys mind if I do a couple more coasters? Or are you guys in a hurry? Do What's the, your uh, time frame like? Do the blue roll. Show them the, show them the puddle form blow. So that's like super fun. Heat it up, blow it, leave it. Like that's like, that's such an easy. Wait, will you grab me some coasters? Heat it up, blow it, leave it. So you're talking about doing the fun, easy, fast coaster. Where are they at? Where oh, are they at, though? How about we get a couple of our uh, 
No. No, we don't have any. Just grab the hexes because I have a little bit more hex than anything. Um, when we get more clear ones in, I'll do some demos on clear. Um, as soon as I get more clear geodes in, I want to do one of these four geodes. Any of these super awesome possums? Yeah. <laughs> you need some room? No. Look at that middle one. Mm -hmm. That's super fun. Middle one? Mm -hmm. Well, there's these, so I thought that was cool. I didn't want to see those. Um, what did you want me to do? A blue and gold? Yeah. With no, uh, none of the base? Just only blue and gold. Yeah, blue and gold. You this guys? Maybe a little white. White, okay. I'm very responsive to suggestions, so if you guys have suggestions on something you want to see demonstrated or color combinations, just comment below, send me a text, do something, let me know what you're thinking, because we're here for you guys. Whatever it is you guys want to see. Here, these are, these are a little, a little smaller than normal, but. How the bunkers? Yeah, these are what we put on the back. Sometimes we get either the black ones or the white ones. Um, the clear ones work really well, but that's, what we uh, use, they just peel off, and then you stick them on the back, and you're good to go. So just blue and gold. Well, maybe put a little white in the top, just to give it some. Mm. It's like the quietest the cats have played. If you guys want, I'll do a torch and tilt class like this. That's how I do most of my wave pieces. Oh, now the white's doing what I want it to do. You would. Very elegant, ultra shiny, very happy with that. Next. I'll show you all these coasters at the end. So remember in the beginning of this feed, I was trying to do this uh, torch and tilt and it wasn't working. Let's try that again after this resin has been setting up. A lot of times top cell white does better if it has set up for a minute. This heat setting doesn't have different flame levels. It just has a trigger for on or off. There are some that have um, like flow levels for the flame. This one isn't one of those. However, if it were one of those, I would still use it at full flame. Just be sure not to completely get your torch into the piece because you don't want to scorch your resin and it's easiest to scorch if you're using a torch. Um, so if you guys want to know how to do torch and tilt class, let me know. Send a comment, send a text. Whatever you guys want to learn, 
she made types. Look at those ghost cells. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Where it like fades off into oblivion. Love that for me. You guys remember the first piece that we did? It's looking amazing-tastic. Amazing-tastic. Yep, it's a new thing. Get on board. What was the other thing I wanted to do? A puddle? Oh, uh, a Dutch? What did you want? Um, just the, uh, do the, do the base. Just do a fun, like, maybe a blue base. Or vice versa, a blue base with gold and put a little white in there. Heat it up, blow it, tilt it, and you're good. Oh. Like, really fast, you know, just... Just a quick one? Line type of stuff. All right, here's an assembly line type of coaster. We always put some resin on the bottom to make the other colors flow more easily over the surface. Uh, most of the time it's clear, but for this one I'm using the purple berry base tint. I'm going to add, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to add some white. I'm going to add some blue. This is when we have like a bunch of coasters to make and we're just assembly lining them. Uh, we'll just run color all the way across a lineup of coasters. And then what we like to do is hit it with some heat. And then I'll just use my finger to kind of manipulate it over the piece. Give me a second, it's gonna look amazing. I kind of already like this look, but I'll do one how Jeff is describing as well. Just hear me out though, just give me a second on this. See those cells just coming up in only certain areas? That's what I really like, it's just, simple and it's not it's not like over busy with cells it's just it's a lot of good movement it's not overthought you know and then I'll always go in and add tea tiny strings of gold What do you guys think? Is Jeff right or am I right? Comment. Let me know what you think. Okay, so let's do one Jeff's way. <laughs> I'm about to just start pouring resin onto the nothing. All right, V, repeat how you wanted it done. No, you said blue base. Whatever. Um, and just do a little bit right in the center of the blob. And I'll do the blob. blob. Right. Okay. Do you see how you can see where I swiped? my finger through it, see how you can see these lines? That's the best characteristic of using a powder. I love how powders do that. All right, so we're gonna do a blowout. Then I've gotta put a base in the center. And I'm gonna add just a dollop of gold. Do, do, dollop of base, gold. And then put some white down. Ooh, paint's getting thick.
It's gotten to. Here, you're pass out. Just to. Yeah. But it still looks good. Hold on, I'll give you guys a close up. Maybe just put a little blob of glue or something. In the middle? Is that what you said? Just picking up the colors from under it. Okay, hold on. Don't know about the middle, but the rest of it is interesting and fun. <laughs> So what we're going to do with this, since it's not my best piece, I'm going to put some white down. I'm, what I'm, it's getting thick. I can't, there's nothing to do about it. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a smush after the fact. But I still have some coasters left, and I still have some rosin left, so I'm going to do these. You guys, my cat is chasing my dog. They play tag at night, which is cute while we're awake and not cute while we're not awake. Do you guys hear him running? Please spare me on what's professional and what isn't. This is our channel and this is our family and we appreciate everyone that appreciates us for who we are. So we're probably not going to change. By probably, I mean absolutely not. It's vicious. if it would sell. It looks like my eye cat. Bertha? I didn't do like, a, I didn't do like, it was flat fingered. I didn't like drag my fingers through to make like pointy things. You know what I mean? Different. He is living his bit, like his absolute best pom pom life. He's playing with Pugsley. I'm going to post videos of his play sessions. So I want to do a white and purple because I think that those colors look great together. So I'm going to just swirl this around with the stir stick since I have so many colors on my hands. Be mindful of what paint you have on your fingers. If you need to, wipe your hands off. If you don't have any rubbing alcohol or anything to clean your hands off, just switch gloves. It is real easy to transfer color. We've got a white base. And I just want to put a hint of this purple in. This is what I mean by negative space. Do you want to 
wanted to know what you do for your edges. So for my edges, it depends on the client. Some clients like to see, quote, the story of the resin and how it flows around. And some clients want a cleaner edge, which That's is super fun. It's fine either way. That's good. That's a good negative space right there. Um, it's fine either way for us. So if a client wants, oh, I can add some gold lines. So if a client wants a cleaner edge, what we'll do, what we'll do is. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to get a consistent flow of the, the design. Which camera are you in? Um, so uh, what we'll do is we'll turn the piece over on its face on like a towel that we don't care about anymore we'll spray paint the edges after we've sanded it down but we do have a video on how we do that they don't care they just Is that a little blown out or does it look good? Wiping off my stir sticks as I use out my color. Hmm. Ink Poodle says, question, does Artists on Death Side have a coupon code for anything off or free shipping right now? Girl, yes. Right now you can get 10% off till the end of, I guess till midnight. So you've got a couple hours to go. For 10% off on our website, just use the code MEMORIAL, M-E-M-O-R-I-A-L. And that's probably, depending on how much you're looking to, to get into, going to be better than free shipping. Yeah, that is getting thick. That's what she said. Mm. If this doesn't work out and is not cute, I'm going to make a smush with another poster that I'm not exactly 100% on. I think my biggest tip I could give to someone that's working with resin for the first time or is struggling with making resin do what it, you want it to do is to just kind of go with how the resin is already going. Um, I'm a very can't say I'm a loose artist because then I'm going to get hit with all of the that's what she says, but I don't stress out really about the, mm, the bending game. <laughs> I don't stress out about how my pieces look. For me, art is a fun, relaxing thing. I, I just can't be bothered with the stress of trying to make a liquid paint do certain things so I kind of just see how it's going on its own and then Nene said this is her first resin course since October of last year girl it's awesome 
awesome. And it's not awesome, but it's awesome. You know what I mean. So I don't stress about how my resin piece looks. This, I would never brag about how this one looks, but I know I can adjust it and do other things with it. That's kind of a bonus to having a resin that has a long working time. I remember back when we first started doing resin art, we would stress about having a timer on and it would just be, we'd have a lot going on because we didn't want to waste the resin. And that's a very real, very stressful part of working with resin is the fear of waste in terms of it's expensive, so am I using it to the best of what it is? And so we figured after years of working with it that if you just put the color down and see what it's doing and then take it from there, it's a lot more enjoyable. Art should be fun. Don't stress about it. Don't freak out if it isn't doing what you want it to do. Understand you can just scrape an area off if it doesn't fit with your piece. And just have a good time with it. You can always rework it. And if at the very worst it doesn't do what you want it to do, just sand it down and pour over it. It's not the end of the world. Have fun while it's liquid and you can work with it. So I was actually going to add more stuff to this, but it's actually kind of cute as it is. What do you guys think? Still work it or leave it? I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Here's something at you guys. It wasn't me. I mean, it could have been, but it wasn't. What's the consensus? Still do something to it or leave it be? All right, well, I'm gonna put some gold lines in it. Anytime you put resin down, you need to uh, heat it up because you're introducing new resin, therefore it could have air pockets in it. So just keep that in mind. So let's review the pieces that we have. Oh no, I forgot that I had this one that I wanted to do something to. So what I'm gonna do is, be careful, don't do this at home. Don't do as I do. Don't ever light resin that's on paper. This is a dangerous practice, don't do this. I'm gonna do it again, but don't do this, okay? Have a fire extinguisher handy. Already an improvement. <gasps> it's so fun! I'm happy with this now. Maybe one of my favorites. I'm going to show you the pieces as I take them over to the dust free zone. Give up. <laughs> that looks fun. You just eat it and leave it. I'm sure it looks great. Yeah, look. Swoosh. Yes, all of the pieces that you see here tonight are for sale because we are artists on the hustle. While we're wrapping up, I do want to know what you guys want to see for next month's um, 25th core class. Do you want to do um, negative space? Do you want to do transparency?
give us some suggestions what you would like to see. That way we can kind of adjust on what we are going to put out. While I, I do want to do a geode, it's going to have to wait until we get access to our CNC machine again, which is supposed to be at the end of this month. You need to message them and find out what's up. Well, thank you, Nene. Hit that button. We appreciate everybody coming to the live class. We appreciate the donations. All donations go right, right back into our studio so that we can get stuff, so that we can do this for you guys every single day. It's true. Everything that you guys tip us on the channel goes right back into the channel so that we can continue to make artwork and test products for you guys for free without having to deal with channel sponsors, which is a pain in the purse. Negative space? All right, so next month will be negative space. Be advised that the canvas will be a little bit bigger. The amount of paint I send will have to be a little bit more um, in quantity. And so the price of the kit will probably be a little bit higher. It will definitely be cheaper than our $300 a pop class. It'll probably be like $100, $125. To, to our uh, Facebook page, ATD Sport People, and just answer the question and you will be let right in. And please share what you've done tonight. We would love to see your work tonight, you guys. Um, if you have questions about your piece specifically and you maybe aren't too keen on sharing with the class your piece. No stress, no problems. Um, just shoot me a text with your, a video of your piece or a picture of your piece and I'll give you every pointer that I have and that I can. You guys, this is my favorite part of the class sometimes, just wrapping it up. You can, um, I wipe off my stir sticks with an alcohol rag. You can also use acetone. Um, and you can, if you want to, reuse your graduated mixing cup, the cup that we mix the part A and part B together. All you have to do is use a, an alcohol rag and just wipe that out. And you can reuse it. <laughs> Unless just fell. That's why the camera was shaking. Never mind that though. So you guys, I am very interested to know what you think, what you'd like to see in the future, what you are maybe not so keen on seeing. Um, any feedback you guys have is awesome for me because I can't know if you guys don't tell me, you know? So, um, if I missed any questions, I'm here to answer. The class is over if you don't want to stick around for the questions. Um, hi, babies. Hi, happy boy. Come here. This is Cujo. He was the one making all the noise. Um, he had a cough earlier. Wait. 
This is Belly, who was also making noise earlier because he wants to be a part of everything and everything. And these are our, our poor pups. These are the babies. Transparent class would be awesome. Sure, I'll, I'm definitely, I already got some droppers to test out shipping um, the transparent tents because they don't. Oh, be careful, baby moo. Just wait, we're not ready. Go lay down. They don't like to be put into plastic. Thank you, TZ, for saying that. We want to see it all eaten. Not all of us can make it to your local classes. Um, we're going to try to be around in every area we can be for um, the in-person classes once we're, you know, not on timeout anymore. But until then, we want to give everything we can to you guys um, and just cover the materials in a little bit of time. That's all we charge for our um, pour kits. They're typically $75 to $80. If I am going to do a negative space piece for the next class, it will be closer to $100, maybe $125, um, simply because the round will be uh, growing from a 10 inch to a 15 because it's really hard to do negative space uh, for a 101 style class on a smaller surface. How's this cough? Oh, your pup's um, trachea collapse during removal of the innovation tube. Um, Cujo actually has a mild collapsing trachea, which also gets irritated because of his CHF cough. So he's on medication for all of that. He's doing better. I just have to keep on top of his medicine. Transparent would be helpful to me. Okay, absolutely. Eric, I did 10 inch and an 18th inch partial. Oh. That's awesome, Shane. I'll, I'll send that invoice tomorrow. I've forgotten about it till just now. Um, I can definitely do a... Maybe I can combine a transparent tint and a negative space. If I can get enough clear forms um, I will, I'll combine it so that you guys can get a little bit of both in the next one. Your hair looks amazing. Thank you. It's just a wash-in. So it's not permanent. It's just like semi-permanent because I only wash my hair like every four days. Thank you, Clara. Um, so yeah, every thumbs up helps. Every comment helps. Every share helps. We're trying to get to... 50,000 subs. We're really close. We're like 13,000 away. Um, so every share really helps us when people comment in Facebook groups that they don't know how to do something. Just search Artist Till Death and whatever the subject is, like Artist Till Death finishing back of coasters. We've got it. Artist Till Death encasing flowers and resin. We've got it. Artist Till Death nine foot pour. We've got it. Artist Till Death anything. Dust free zone, pouring on a round, pouring on styrofoam, pouring into a balloon. You name it, I swear we've done it. I am going to be doing a tumbler soon just so I can say that there is nothing that we haven't done. And it's one of the only things that we haven't done. Um, once we hit our goal, I think I'm going to do like a 19% off or something like that. I can't do 20% because... On some of my pigments, that's my only markup is 20%. So I'll do like a 19% off once we hit 50,000 subscribers. So please um, share, like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to ring the bell so that you guys get notified every time that we go live or post a video. We post or go live every day because we love you guys so, so much. Um, I haven't sent you an invoice yet, um, Ms. Sue, but I can do that tomorrow for you for the three coasters. Thank you so much for saying that, Lisa. 
Okay. Well, I appreciate that, Julie. Don't forget that right now until midnight, which would be in... Yep, we cancel time right now. Uh, an hour and a half, um, you have one hour and a half to get your order in using the code MEMORIAL and that will give you 10% off site-wide. So if you're looking for a complete resin kit, any color, resin, um, t-shirts, cradle boards, whatever it is, it's site-wide discount for you guys to honor Memorial Day. Whatever you guys need, we're here to do, and we're happy to do it. So you guys, thank you guys for joining me tonight. It has been a pleasure to teach you what I know during this poor, 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 poor class. Um, don't forget to join us on our other social medias. They are right here, do, 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 do. <laughs> including ATD's Poor People, <laughs> where all of the mods are, most of the people that are in this chat are part of that group, and we are always there to help you, to inspire you, to give you tips, tricks, pointers, whatever it is that you need, whatever it is that you need, we're happy to help because I know what it's like to not have anyone to give you any direction, which is why we started the channel. So. We're here for you guys, whatever you need. Join us on all of these things. And um, yeah, we had a great time with you guys tonight and we will see you guys tomorrow for our standard live. Tomorrow's Tuesday, so we'll be going live at 2 p.m. Central, Dallas, Texas, United States, Milky Way, Universe time. I thought you were doing Knew you were doing the thing. Y'all. Get that dog. Get that dog. We love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. Okay. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I said bye bye bye. The remix? Yeah.